how to assign R and S configuration. What is configuration? Configuration is the arrangement of the groups in the space. Suppose let us take a structure like this and here the central carbon is attached to one of the groups CH3 and another group is CH3. Since the two groups are similar, now this carbon is not the stereoactive center. Therefore, this structure will have only one configuration within the space. But at the same time, if you take a another structure like this, here the all the groups attached to the central carbon are different. Therefore, this carbon is stereoactive center. Since this carbon is stereoactive, now this compound can have two configurations. Suppose this is the one of the configuration and it will have its mirror image which is having the opposite configuration. And here again the carbon is the stereoactive center. Now these two structures are mirror images of each other. And it is very easy to say that they are mirror images. But how can we label these compounds where the first compound is having R configuration or S configuration. So in this video, we will see how we can label the compound whether the stereoactive center is having the R configuration or S configuration. How to show the configuration on the paper? So stereoactivity is a arrangement of the groups within the space which is a 3D arrangement. But how we can represent these structures on the plain paper? So one of the projection is like this. Here we can observe one horizontal line and one vertical line to which all the four groups are attached. The intersection of horizontal and vertical line indicates the carbon and this carbon being attached to the four different groups it acts as a stereoactive center. And this type of projection we call Fisher projection. So according to the Fisher projection the groups attached by horizontal line are above the plane and the groups attached by vertical line are below the plane. That means according to the Fisher projection, there is no group within the plane. Two groups are above the plane and two groups are below the plane. Now let us have another projection. In this projection, we can observe that one of the group is attached by a solid wedge and another group is attached by a broken wedge. So this type of uh, projection we call the wedge and dash projection. In this, the chlorine group is attached by a solid wedge which indicates the chlorine group is towards the viewer and the hydrogen which is attached by dashed line is away from the viewer. And the other groups like the CH3 and NH2 which are attached by the line are within the plane. So according to this projection, one of the group is uh, towards the viewer and another group is away from the viewer and two other groups are within the plane. We can use any of these two projections in order to indicate the stereoactivity of the compounds. So in this video, we will see how we can assign the r &S configuration to either Fisher projection or wedge and dash line projection. So let's start with a working example one. So let's start with a compound having Fisher projection. Here the stereoactive center is attached to the four different groups. In assigning the r &S configuration, we have to give the priority order to the groups attached to the stereoactive center. So OH group is attached by oxygen, NH2 group is attached by nitrogen, CH3 group is attached by carbon and finally hydrogen is attached to the stereoactive center. Here priority order is given based on the highest atomic number. Higher the atomic number, higher the priority. Since oxygen is having the more atomic number, we should give the priority to the oxygen. So that is the first priority and then the nitrogen, then the carbon and finally to the hydrogen. So in this way, the first step of the r &S configuration is to assign the priority order based on the higher atomic number. But here, before going to assign the r &S configuration, we have to check that the lowest priority group should be on the vertical line. Here the hydrogen is given the lowest priority by the number 4, which is on the horizontal line. It is not on the vertical line. So in order to bring the lowest priority group onto the vertical line, we can make uh, parallel transitions. By making the parallel transitions, the structure will not change, but what are the groups attached at the horizontal and vertical lines are interchanged. So by doing these parallel transitions, we can observe the structure like this. So here uh, OH and NH2 are replacing their positions and hydrogen and CH3 is again replacing their positions. Now again, if we give the priority order, 
nitrogen is second, oxygen is first, CH3 is third and hydrogen is fourth. So now the lowest priority group hydrogen is on the vertical line. Now we can assign the R and S nomenclature. We have to travel from the priority groups from 1 to 2 to 3. So when we travel like this, if this traveling direction gives the clockwise direction, it will be R configuration. If it gives anti-clockwise direction, it is S configuration. So in this structure, when we are going to travel from 1 to 2 to 3, we are going through the anti-clockwise direction. Since it is an anti-clockwise direction, the configuration can be given as S configuration. So in this way, we can assign the configuration to the Fisher projection. But after giving the priority order, we have to check that the lowest priority group should be on the vertical line. If it is not on the vertical line, we can make a parallel transition such that we can bring the lowest priority group to the vertical line. Let us go with another example. Now we are going to take the wedge and dash line projection. Here again, the stereoactive center is attached to the four different groups. So one is the oxygen of the OH and another one is a hydrogen and another one is a chlorine and the fourth one is the carbon of the carboxylic acid. Now again, we have to check which atom is having the higher atomic number. Chlorine is having the higher atomic number. So we should give the preference one and then the oxygen. So two, then the carbon three then hydrogen 4. So in this way, we have given the priority order to the four different groups. Then just like the Fisher projection, before going to assign the RNS configuration, we have to check that the lowest priority group should be on the dashed line. So in this structure, the lowest priority group hydrogen is on the dashed line. We can go forward to assign the RNS configuration. Now we have to travel from 1, 2, 2 to 3. And here you can observe that while we are going to travel from 1 to 2 to 3, we have jumped through the 4. So here we have to remember that while we are going to travel from 1 to 2 to 3, we can skip the 4 in between them. Now this direction is the again anti-clockwise direction. So configuration is the S configuration. So while we are giving the R and S configuration to the solid wedge and dash line, after giving the priority order, we have to check that the lowest priority group is on the dashed line. Let us take another example. Now again, we have taken the solid wedge and dashed line projection. Here stereoactive center is again attached to the four different groups. So one is the carbon of the CH2, CH3, and there is the carbon of the CH3, and the one is the bromine, and final one is the carbon of CHO. So again, the priority order based on the higher atomic number, bromine is having the higher atomic number, so it should be given preference one. In all the remaining groups, the carbon is attached to the stereoactive center. Then how can we assign the priority order? So when we are unable to determine the priority order by the first atom, we have to go with the further atoms attached. So suppose here in the CH3, this carbon is attached to the three hydrogens. So we can write uh, like H, H, H. That means carbon is attached to the three hydrogens. In the CH2, CH3, the carbon is attached to the two hydrogens and one carbon. But we have to arrange in the order of the atomic number. So carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. Now this carbon is further attached to one carbon and two hydrogens. Then what about the third group CHO? The CHO is the aldehyde which is having the carbonyl group. In this carbonyl group, the carbon is attached to the hydrogen by single bond and oxygen by double bond. So it is not attached to the three atoms, but it is attached to the only two atoms because of the pi bond. Then we can assume that the carbonyl group is attached to the two single bonds. So we, we can represent the structure like this. Now this carbon is attached to the two oxygen atoms by single bond and one hydrogen atom by again single bond. So totally what are the atoms attached to this carbon is the oxygen, oxygen and hydrogen. Here we are assuming that the carbon of the carbonyl group is attached to the oxygens by two single bonds. So it is a hypothetical case which we are going to use to assign the priority order only. Now if we consider the atoms attached so in the CHO it is OOH and in the CH2, CH3 it is carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen and the CH3 it is hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Since oxygen is having the more atomic number, so we have to give the second priority to the CHO and third priority to the CH2, CH3 and fourth priority to the CH3. So in this way we can assign the priority based on the further atoms attached.
now we have to check what is the lowest priority group so here the lowest priority group is the ch3 the lowest priority group is here attached with the solid wedge it is not present on the dashed line so we cannot assign the rns configuration as it is and we have to make that the ch3 group is attached to the dashed line so how can we do that now this is the structure we are discussing and if this structure is having a single transition instead of the parallel transition only two groups are interchanged what happens when only two groups are interchanged it can give a configuration like this and this is a different structure and these two structures are not equivalent because we have made only single transitions but they are mirror images of each other in the second structure we can easily assign the priority because the lowest priority group ch3 is on the dashed line so if the mirror image of the given structure is s configuration then the original structure will be r configuration if the mirror image of the structure is r configuration then the original structure will be s configuration in this way we can go for a retro method such that we are going to assign the r and s configuration to its mirror image and if its mirror image is having the s configuration the original compound will have r configuration or if it is having r configuration the original compound will have s configuration now let us go with the mirror image of the given structure so here already we have discussed the priority order bromine is the first cho is second and ch2 ch3 is third and ch3 is fourth now here the lowest priority group is on the dashed line so we can continue with the r and s uh, configuration so we have to travel from 1 to 2 to 3 so when we travel like this we are getting the clockwise direction so since it is a clockwise direction it is the r configuration now what about the original compound since the mirror image is giving the r configuration the original structure will have s configuration in this way we can easily assign the configuration of the compound so the original compound what we are discussing is having s configuration